How do you select multiple files in the Finder? There are several different ways to do that, and there are some more advanced techniques that you might find useful as well. I am Luke, and I teach people every day how to use their Apple devices to be more productive. If it sounds like you, then click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future tips. So there are three main views in Finder. Icon view, list view and a column view. Yes, there is gallery view as well, but I use it very rarely. Selecting files in these three different views works pretty much the same, but each of them has some slight differences. Let's start with icon view. To select a single file of course, all you need to do is to click on it. If you want to select several files, you hold the command key down and click on another file. And while still holding the command key, you can select as many files or folders you want. The same way, you can also deselect it. If the file is already selected and you want to remove the selection, keep on holding command key and click on that file. To remove the whole previous selection, simply click on the empty space or on the another file without holding command key and it will forget the previous selection. On the other hand, to select all files, you can use well-known shortcut Command A. And now when you have selected them all, you can use the command key again and deselect files you don't like. So sometimes might be faster to select all files first and remove the selection of just one or two by holding the command key and click on them to deselect it. The other option in icon view is that you can click on an empty area and drag a box that will select all the files underneath that box. So you can select a rectangular area like this. And if I hold the command key down, I can select another area and add it to the previous selection. The command key works the same way. Also, if you already have files selected and you do that again, then it will invert the selection. When I drag new area over, notice, it selects these files in the middle, but it selects the other ones. So it selects the opposite of what is underneath the rectangle. Now let's take a look at the list view. There are a few different things in list view. Again, you can click on a file to select it. You can command click and add more files to the selection. Command clicking on a file that's already selected will deselect it, all the same. But in list view, you can also click to select a file and then use shift click to select all the files in the range. So if I select this file on the top and then shift click on another one, notice it selects all of these files between. Then I can command click to add some more or deselect some in there. If I click on a file that isn't selected, it forgets the current selection and starts fresh. You can also use the same shortcut command A to select all and even drag to select here in list view. But you have to be careful not to click on the icon or the name. You have to click on the area to the right of the name. If you click and drag there, it will do continuous selection either after or before that file. Now another unique thing to list view is you can select at different levels. So I can select the file here and hold command key to select another file and then I can open up this folder with photos and with command click to select the file inside that as well. I can do that with multiple folders. And now you can see that I have selected all these different files from different levels. Column view is similar to list view in a lot of ways. I can click to select a single file, I can command click to select multiple files I can click on a file and then shift click on another to select the range. I can also do command A to select all. However, I can't select files at multiple levels. So if I open this folder here and select this file and then open another one, it forgets about the initial selection. So if you want to select things at multiple levels, it's the list view you want to use, not column view. Column view is good to see your file structure but not really good for selecting files. Once you master selecting multiple files and folders in the Finder, you'll find out that you can use these skills inside some apps as well. Anytime an app has multiple things in the list or multiple objects on the page, you can use these commands as well. For example, select text range with shift key or select multiple pictures by command click and after Command A can be used to select all items. So try it out, master these skills in different apps throughout macOS and I will show you some other features in the next video. I am Luke and I will see you again.